This video is going to show you how to use the force simulation table written by my son. So this is the picture of a force table up here, and this is the virtual version of it. So in this, if I want to look at it, I can kind of zoom in and I can see that this is what I'm after. I'm going to balance, in this uh, picture right here, what it's showing is that I have four forces pulled by these four tensions, and they're balanced. That's why the little ring is right here in the middle of it. In the simulation is going to be kind of the same idea. So here's the table, basically it's the blue outline, and then I've got these vectors. If I click the button for new vectors, then I can erase these vectors and I get new ones to set up. If I reload this page, the vectors will become new again. So you cannot start now and then finish this later by reloading the page. You have to finish it once you loaded the page. So here are the vectors, and you have a little measurement tool. The measurement tool is this little red dot. See how it turns yellow when finger goes over top of it, the cursor goes over there. Then I can line it up and I can be precise, I can pull it out for a little more precision or bring it in, whatever I need to, to line it up and that'll give me the angle. And the angle's over here on the right hand side. So there's the angle right there. The goal of this is to figure out where the fourth vector is. Remember that little picture you just had, there were four tensions and here what I'm doing is I'm showing the forces of three tensions. So what I've got to do is I've got to find a fourth tension. So when I add that vector to these three, it'll equal zero. So there's no net force in that case. And then what I'll do is I'll take my answer and I'll put it down here in the red box at the bottom of the screen, right there. Then I can check your answer. If your answer is wrong, you'll it'll tell you click on the yellow box to get rid of that and if it's right it'll also tell you that as well so you can keep kind of adjusting your measurements you can find the correct answer by easy either using the graphical method or by using the component method of addition for the vectors it's up to the teacher's instruction as to which method you will use